This lesson is going to talk about creating circular patterns for bolt holes and uh, similar extruded cuts. Um, first, I'm going to start off with a revolve shape. Um, I want to make sure I have my axis right. So I'm going to use the center point for my circular axis. And I'm going to create a couple construction lines uh, to attach the endpoints of that axis. And generally, we want our axis to also be a construction line. Uh, the last thing I have to do real quick is just uh, figure out the diameter of my center hole, which uh, is going to be 375 is going to be the radius. So fully constrained here. And by having the axis be my, um, or the origin line be my axis, when I revolve, it will... Uh, center my my uh, hole here, which has some good benefits later. All right, so let's do a new sketch on this disk. I'm going to create a circle, um, you know, basically a bolt hole. And in this situation, I have one hole, but I want 11 more for a total of 12 holes. So instead of making 12 holes, I can make one hole and use a circular pattern tool. Uh, before I do that, I have to get this hole in the right place. Let's say this is a half inch hole, 0.5. I have to tell this hole where on the disc it needs to go. So let me put that in real quick. I'm going to use a vertical constraint with the center point, And I'm going to tell it how far away from that hole. Let's say 1.5 inches. When I use the circular tool, I select my geometry select my axis and how many holes I want, and it will evenly space those bolt holes. So you can see really quickly, I have all the holes I need and they're placed in equal intervals away. So it just saved me a ton of time by using that circular um, pattern tool. All 